Yeah. Talk, talking about yourself, what are you up to at the moment? What's on, what's on the go? Um, well, at the moment, uh, I haven't started just yet, but I'm actually heading out to Iceland uh, in a couple of weeks' time to start filming Game of Thrones for Series 2 and 3. Um, well, Series 2, obviously, just this year. Um, so, yeah, I've never been to Iceland before, so I'm really looking forward to it. I think it'll be amazing. Game of Thrones has been a phenomenon since it emerged, and obviously a, a successful book with the series before. Um, were you familiar with it before um, you, you went up for the role? Um, I had started watching a couple of episodes already on Sky Atlantic, and um, purely just word of mouth, friends were like, you've got to watch this. If you're like, if you're a medieval kind of fan, the fantasy fan, I was like, oh yeah, okay, can't go wrong. And then suddenly when the audition, uh, when it came up, I started reading the books as well. So I'm kind of working my way through those. They're pretty big, so yeah, I'm taking my time. <laughs> Wonderful to hear that you're going to be in the second and the third season. Um, wh which character are you playing? Can you tell us a bit about? Um, yes, I play uh, Igret. She is a wildling. She's north of the wall, and that's I think that's why we're filming obviously in Iceland. Um, and so yeah, no, she's a bit of a tough character. She's a hell of a lot of fun, hell of a lot of fun. And in the book, she's wonderful as well. She's very witty. She's fiery. And Clearly, it's a very physical series uh, for a lot of the characters. Is that going to be the case for you? And what kind of preparation are you doing at the moment? So I hope it will be physical. I hope I'll be like running up mountains, running back down, and um, I hope something will like take part and kind of like with a bow and arrow and stuff like that. So yeah, it's all on the cards. I'm not too sure yet what what will be required. A bit about your character. You've been watching the show and you've been kind of catching up on the books. Um, yes. Do you have beyond your own character? Do you have a, a favourite character in the series? Is there anyone that you particularly enjoy watching or reading about? Who do I love? Who do I love reading about? Um, all round, I did. I did love reading about uh, Robert Baratheon uh, back, back in the first in the first book, um, and then in the second book, I'm. Uh, I love. Uh, I love when they're north of the wall. So I love hearing all about uh, you know the Night's Watch and everything about that. But yeah, character-wise, I think I love Cersei Lannister. Oh, she's evil. She's evil. But no, I love. I like watching her a lot. Yeah. You told us earlier about your character. Is she someone you can relate to quite easily? Are you like that? Are you fiery? And you seem quite sweet in real life, to be I honest. I would like. I would like to say that I'm fiery. I'd like to say that there was a little inner side that would come out every now and then. But um, but no, I, I I think that she. You can relate to her in the fact that she is a fighter, and um, and also I suppose that she's quite funny, and I like to think sometimes a little bit funny too. So, uh, but no, I think I'm very much kind of wanting to. I'm wanting to like get it out of my system and go there and give it 110. Really. Clearly there's a massive fan base for the series. Um, does it feel nervous in any way joining something that already has such an established following like that and coming in as a new face? Certainly, certainly, yeah. I think, And also I think there's a massive kind of pressure to perform and uh, and to give it give it justice, A, to the books, but also to the rest of the cast and to the show as a whole, really. So, yeah, no, I do feel that a lot. Obviously we, obviously we don't want you to ruin any surprises, but talking about the second season... What do you think it's going to give fans that they won't have seen in the first season? I mean, just overall, what kind of things can we expect? Actually, I know that they are keeping very um, close to the books, to the second book. Um, so, yeah, so if you read the second book, then you, you'll know exactly what's coming. But otherwise, I'm not too sure. Sorry. What else have you got on the go at the moment? Or is it just Game of Thrones consuming your life? At, at the moment, it's um, all Game of Thrones, yes. Talk so much about the show. It, it, I mean, it seems to have this, this amazing connection with the fan base, and people in America and over here are, are falling in love with it. What do you think... Is have you know why is the show having that effect? Because it's very rare for a new show to just immediately be seized upon in the way that I think Game of Thrones has. Yes, and received the way that it has been. I think um, I think the writing. I think it's down to the writing. I think it's down to uh, the actors involved. But also, there's something just phenomenal about the fact that it's fantasy. There's something phenomenal about the fact that you you're kind of like you're in Westeros. You're in a completely kind of made up kingdom. You've dragons. You've got knights and like big stony castles. I just think it plays with your imagination and and the whole die wolf and everything like that, all these fantastical, magical creatures is brilliant. And I think that that taps everybody. I think. We cannot wait to see you on our screens with that. Um, I guess as a final question, do you have a message to all the Game of Thrones fans watching out there? What, anything you'd like to say to them? Well, just just the fact that um, how fantastic that they have been watching the first series and I hope that they enjoy the second series just as much. And I'm going to definitely do my best. <laughs>